एक्सक्यूज मी आर यू ओके हैव सम वॉटर नो थैंक्स वॉट हैपन वॉट इज द डॉक्टर से They said his kidney has failed. He's just twenty-four. How can it be possible? He has always been so physically fit. In fact, he was practicing at his gym when accidentally some weights fell on him, and he had to be rushed here. Now the doctors are saying, due to excessive blood loss, his kidneys are failing. I can't live without my son. <laughs> Don't worry I'm sure he will get well soon My husband too is having a similar problem He was having severe headaches for a few days and kept popping in strong painkillers then suddenly he was not able to pass urine and his face puffed up completely We rushed him here and they immediately put him on dialysis The doctors say his kidney is affected due to the strong painkillers He is still in the ICU My father is 59 years old. He has been having kidney stone problems for several years. But suddenly he was unable to pass urine like your husband. We rushed him to the hospital. The doctors say his kidney is severely affected due to blocks in the urinary tract. We just don't want him to suffer. Acute kidney injury is a common life threatening condition that few people are even aware of timely care can save thousands of lives unfortunately by the time the patient is brought for medical intervention it is invariably too late acute kidney injury is a rapid loss of kidney function and can occur from extensive blood loss exposure to substances harmful to the kidney such as overdose of painkillers and obstruction of the urinary tract unless treated immediately this can result in death a common symptom is reduction in urine output a person brought to the hospital immediately can usually be saved however with every moment of delay the chances of survival become bleaker Acute kidney injury can affect people of all ages. Common risk factors are cardiac failure, diabetes mellitus, excessive blood loss, medication that affect kidneys, vascular disease, liver disease, sepsis, etc. If the serum creatinine level doubles in 24 hours, it is indicative of acute kidney injury a simple blood test can confirm this and treatment started immediately a sudden reduction in kidney function is called acute kidney injury somebody has a chest pain a heart attack he is rushed to the icu his blood pressure drops his kidney function goes down so overnight the kidney function goes down somebody takes a painkiller which can affect the kidney this kidney function goes down so acute kidney injury is something which has happened suddenly since it has happened suddenly it is potentially reversible if i remove the offending agent if the painkiller is removed if the blood pressure goes up the kidney starts functioning again if on the contrary the injury continues the person can lose life so there is hardly any time in acute kidney injury the body cannot adapt itself this is unlike chronic kidney disease so the patient has immediate symptoms his urine output drops there is swelling of the face and he can become critical in 24 hours acute kidney injury as i said is potentially reversible it can happen due to pre renal causes when there is less blood reaching the kidney like a dehydration following a gastroenteritis or low blood pressure due to a heart attack or due to infection or it can happen due to a renal cause which is cause related to the kidney itself like a drug painkiller or some allergic disease affecting the kidney or it can be occasionally post renal where there is a block to the urine output from the kidney so all these conditions can lead to acute kidney injury this year's 
theme for the World Kidney Day is acute kidney injury. The importance of it is to realize it very early. There is hardly any time. It is potentially reversible. It is also potentially fatal. I was a patient of acute kidney injury. I was diagnosed with the nephritic syndrome in 1998. And the basic symptoms were just puffiness around my eyes and uh, swelling around my ankles. And I also started having less urine output in due course of time. I was on immunosuppressants for some time, but uh, it did not work and my kidneys were not functioning normally. And after three or four months, uh, I was put on continuous ambulatory peritoneal dialysis, uh, two cycles a day for five months. And this process literally saved my life and my kidneys started functioning normally. It's been 14 years since I was out of the CAPD and now I've been uh, normal, I'm following a normal diet. I'm functioning normally, my kidneys are normal and I'm working and I'm dancing and my life is quite at ease now. I was in work, after that I fell down and fell down. After that I went to the hospital. After going to the hospital, I didn't have to go to the hospital. I didn't have to go to the hospital. I didn't have to go to the hospital. After that, I didn't have to go to the hospital. I didn't have to go to the hospital. अभी ठीक है सब नार्मल है सेपियंस हेल्थ फाउंडेशन वॉज फाउंडेड इन 1997 विद द आइडिया ऑफ हेल्पिंग पेशेंट्स विद किडनी डिजीज इट हैज बीन चैंपियनिंग द कॉज ऑफ किडनी डिजीज सिंस देन Several thousand patients have been helped with subsidized dialysis and kidney transplantation. Health education has been the focus recently. We have been trying to prevent kidney disease in the community. Several institutions in and around Chennai have been screened for kidney disease and an awareness is created to people with simple tips to protect their own kidneys.